155 section 12.6 integrated review so let's take a look at how we're going to convert between matrix and us for <coughs> excuse me for lengths so here i got two different sides i got us to matrix equivalent and i got matrix to us length equivalent so which side do i use well depends on what you're starting if you're starting with the us you do the left side if you're starting uh, if you're starting with matrix use the right side Okay, so make sure you use the correct side. That makes um, all the computation much, much easier. So this one says, what number of inches is equivalent to 550 decimeter? So this problem is to take 550 decimeter, convert into inches. So what do we do? We look at our table and see if I got a direct conversion. Uh, as a matter of fact, I. I need to end up with inch, but I only the only thing I got is inch to centimeter. So think about this, okay? Decimeter need to go to inch, but what I only have right now I only have inch to centimeter. So is there a way I can actually convert between centi and deci? So remember I mentioned before in 12.5 when we convert length from matrix to matrix we can actually move the decimals all right so now we need to actually revisit uh, let's take a look see if we can revisit this real quick we need to revisit um, that table and so let me bring the table here as I open that up, I'm going to move everybody down a little bit if I can. Uh, maybe not. All right, let me open this up. All right. So this table right here, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it somewhere over here. Let me move them down a little bit so I can keep on using this. So think about this, okay? Think about this. Inch take me to cent centimeter. But the question is, can I go from deci to centi? So centi is here, deci is here. So I can actually go from deci to centi as well. So that means this problem, I must go through. Um, I got to pass through centimeter before I can get to inch. All right. So let's do, let's do... Des, deci to centi first. So 550 decimeter convert into so many centimeter. So start at deci, go to centi. That's only one place to the right. So if I move my decimal on the 550 to the right one place, that'll give me one empty slot. So that's 5500 zero, zero centimeters. Right, so basically 550 decimeter is the same as having 5,500 centimeter. So let's say over one times another fraction, put my centimeter down here. So now I can use centimeter convert to inch up here, which is 2.54. 2.54 centimeter for one inch. So now the centimeter will cancel each other out. So this problem is is 5,550 divided by 2.54. Okay. So let's see, round to the nearest thousand. So that would be nearest thousand so that's two one six five round to nearest thousand place that's three five four all right inches there you go all right let's try another one okay convert 250 yard into decimeters 250 yard. Oh, 
I apologize. I just I just realized I made a mistake. I'm trying to go from matrix to US, so I should use a number on the right. <coughs> Excuse me. So I should use this one centimeter is for point three nine four inch. Oh my fault. Because once I'm a centimeter, I'm taking matrix to US, so I messed up right there. I use the wrong number. So let me uh let me just rewrite this two numbers real quick show you all right it says one centimeter for point three nine four inch so I mean, my answer won't be that much off all right, let's see so this problem once a centimeter cancels out this problem becomes 5,500 times 0.394, which is actually 2167. So which answer is right? As a matter of fact, both of them are right. It depends on which side of the table you're looking. So I prefer, I prefer if we starting from matrix, go to US, we look at, we use the number on the right, okay? US to matrix, we use the number on the left, okay? So just just to be just to be make just to be sure, I believe the homework will actually take both answers. But um, if you look at the if if you use the correct side of numbers, computation is actually turned out to be much much easier. All right, this time I'm actually taking 250 yard and I'm going from US to metric. I need to go to decimeters. All right, so let's look. Yard can take me to meter. Right, so once I go for a yard to meet, sorry, yard to meter. Once I'm a meter, if I want to go to decimeter, that means I got to convert from meter to deci. So either way, this problem I need to go from yard, okay, to meter, and then go to deci. So as you know, once I'm once I reach meter, meter to deci. Meter to deci is only move my decimal to the right one place. Okay, so let's do let's do the yard to meter first. So two hundred and fifty yard over one times put the yard down here. Put my meter up top. So my conversion says one yard for point nine one four meter. One yard for point nine one four meter. Yard cancels out. So once I multiply two hundred fifty times point nine one four is two two eight point five point five meter. So now go from meter convert to decimeter. I will simply move my decimal to the right one place. So my final answer should be 2,285 okay, decimeters. All right, so once again, when it comes to conversion, sometimes we might have to convert to a um, another units and then take go from that unit in the middle to actually convert to the units that I desire. All right, so that will conclude this video. Um, U.S. and metric equivalent for measures of length. Thank you for watching.